Legend of Total War here with part 134 of my Europa Barbarorum Let's Play campaign as the Seleucid Empire. Previously, we conquered Gava Thysicata and just maneuvering our way, preparing for our war against um, the Dacians. And also, you know, trying to take rebel settlements. So we've got now 129 settlements. That's about two-thirds of the map, almost. Alright, um, last thing to do for the turn, I guess, is retrain these guys. So, 48, 45, 33, 46, no, 27, 22. Those guys need to be retrained. Okay, thought this might happen. I think there's a good chance we'll do this because they've only built one battering ram and we've got a um, stone wall. Chances are that that ram is going to burn, but I kind of hope that it doesn't because then they'll have to contend with boiling oil. And boiling oil in this is pretty fucking deadly. Like in Medieval 2, you might lose like a lot, but in Rome 1, it's it's even more. Yeah, a lot is a definite number, isn't it? Um, no need to stay up on the walls, they can't get there. I doubt they'll get to the gate, to be honest. What a waste. And what I mean by waste is, what a waste of time. Fucking winter. Great. Okay then, we got 300,000 in the bank. It's heaps. My lord. Forgot to retrain here. That's not a big deal. Okay, all five of these are done. We still need a lot more pikemen now. Do we want to bring elephants with us? No, they're too expensive. They didn't prove to be that useful. Just keep getting more pikes. Let's have a look. Um, it's winter, so even though this thing here is finished, I'm not sure how far we're going to be able to get. Can you leave? Oh, jeez. We should still be able to leave. Just make sure though. War dead. War dead. War dead. My lord. March. Okay, they'll be able to leave. My lord. March. Okay, I think we'll we'll go this way because Voldendino is not under attack anymore. Forward. Hopefully the uh, the German bastards don't attack us. I mean, they were at war with the Romans. They've been at war with the Romans for a while. They're getting ready to make their attack there. That's fine. They're not ready to move out yet. We've got to wait for that to be built. One more turn. 
Good, the public order over here became under control. Okay, then let's focus on Baltic Light Infantry so that we can leave here sooner rather than later. I mean, he's not providing much influence, so maybe he can leave soon. Should be able to get there next turn. Quite a lot of mercenaries here that we have to choose from, so that'll come in handy. Alright. I don't want these two units. Oh, I forgot to keep recruiting here. Well, whatever. I want to take sir, sir. them. Can I take another one? Sir, of course you can. Alright, let's get moving. Where do I want you to go? Nothing where it's too strong. Yeah, those guys there, they're very strong. Um, maybe come to here. There's an all archer army. They're, they will excel at battles where the, uh, there's not that many enemies. Yeah, to stay there and, and wait for them. No yes, point taking two trips. Yes, Stratigos. No more moves, sir. They'll eventually catch up. Yes, Stratigos. Okay. This will be the last turn of retraining. Oh, look at that. That gained experience whilst retraining. Sir. So that's good. Oh, and then they lost it. Give yes, it back. Stratigos. Yeah, whatever. But then again, what would I prefer? Two two units with seven experience or one unit with six and one unit with eight. It's about the same. I think I prefer one unit with eight. Yes, Stratigos. Orders. Good. This is a very experienced um, cavalry army now. They're gonna fucking kill everything down here. Look at this, these guys might be planning an attack. I might try and get you out of there. Onward. Shit. Sir, Didn't realize you were, were providing that much public order. Okay, if that's the case, I'll send you some reinforcements. Yes, Not like these guys can really do a whole lot, but it's better than nothing. Alright, let's build stuff. Uh, let's see. Um, public order's pretty good. It needs population growth. Go with that. Okay, Tarsus is a huge city. There's only 16,000 people in it. That's fine. Doesn't need heaps. Nisa needs to grow. But also needs more public order. So maybe it's best to just wait until we fix that up a little bit more. So build that. Hang on. At Ipsos, there's no corruption, so go ahead and build this. Boost our income by 900 per turn. Which is, you know, an extra two or three battalions it can maintain. Which, by all means, is not a bad thing. Actually, there's better things we can build.
Bostra needs to grow as well. Give it the festivals just in case something bad happens here. Still need public order here. Go with that. Then we can justify building up the farming. So Mariab is having a few issues. That fixed it. Where's Gava Alana? Out here. I do want it to become a, a large town, but the public order is really not, um, not suitable yet. So maybe we should try and build up all these other things that might help get, reduce the culture penalty. Okay, we can't recruit anything in Gava Alana. Where is this? Build that. I mean, it might help reduce culture penalty just by having more percentage-wise our, our buildings. Yes, okay, it looks like we're done here for the most part. Okay, they'll need to be retrained this turn as well. Ah, uh, what else? Have we, are we recruiting here? Yep. Pretty quiet term, it's usually like that during winter. It does look like Gete are uh, preparing to attack me. That governor is really good. I don't want him to die. They're not going to get here this turn, though. Just give me a couple more turns, Geto. I'm, I'm coming for you. I don't want to be defensive. I want to be aggressive against you. I want you to have to defend against me. Alright, I don't see anything else that needs to be done. So let's... Oh, hang on, there might be guys out here. Yeah, see, this one hasn't moved. Okay, time to retrain and move on to the next turn. Now, we could have retrained all of those horses in one big go, and you know, rather than in five turns. However, they would not be anywhere near as good as what they are now. Now they're a real force to be rec reckoned with. When the time comes. I mean, we'll have to put them to the test. I see they're going back for that. Ah, oh, motherfuckers, we'll have to go back. Because, um, it's not exactly ready. They didn't assault Mediolanum. Looks like they're going back for Emporium as well. I've got to remember to, to retrain those units at Emporion. Doesn't need to be done at the end of the turn, just do it now. To be honest, they were a lot easier to control. Smash the population up a little bit, but if they're going to send another crap stat, oh, hang on, we should probably repair that wall as well. We can't let that go on there. This here shouldn't be too difficult. I should have recruited something there. So they didn't... They didn't assault, but they're still preparing for it. Sir! Sir! 
Okay, looks like you gotta wait one more turn. Alright, here's your chance. Let's... Let's go fight them. Yes, it looks like they are planning for it. This army here should be able to defend against that. Okay. Um, I need to get moving. So, let's see what we can recruit here. I'll recruit more of those because they were a lot more useful. Man, that emptied the population there, but that's fine. Um, temple to... No, don't worry about them. Get, get that. Let's... I forgot to move these guys. Last time, that's alright. Let's get moving out this way. Could I have recruited a spy and then just forgot about it? Uh, yeah, I could have. Oh well. Can we leave? Yes. You come with us. Okay, I'm not sure where the settlement is around here, but we're going for it. But they are slingers. These are better than, than my slingers. So, as far as their cost is concerned, I think it's worth it. Prepare fortification. War dead. You just stand out here, that way I'll know when I've got a full stack. Looks like two more turns of. No, maybe. War dead. Yeah, recruit one more turn here. And then there'll be two more turns of recruiting here, and then we send them across. Also, I forgot to send these guys west. Also, do I have guys on the boats here that I've just forgotten about? Yep. Oh, this settlement doesn't have a wall. Which I guess is good. Alright, what are we going to recruit here? I think a lot of archers could be useful. We've got Baltic archers and Baltic archers. What's the difference between these two? There is no difference. It's just one's more expensive than the other. Whatever. Um, yeah, you know what? Archers, they're not too expensive. Let's go with that. We'll use them. Oh, do I really want to use them first? Because then they'll be the first to recover. Use my slingers first. And then the uh, Baltic archers. Whatever, what does it matter? okay let's get organized let's attack from this section here I'll just use them both at the same time stand back And these guys here also stand back. Is that all of them? Alright, go for it. Just shoot. Shoot them all. If you can get rid of those Baltic archers, that would be awesome. Okay, you're gonna need to get further back, because they're rushing at us. Okay, you 
goes in to start marching forward. You'd be able to take them out, no problem. Going pretty well so far. What do we killed like twenty percent? Yep, more than that. I think those Baltic archers were a good choice. Because we're only up against light troops, so against light troops, archers work really well. Come on, it's just one guy. Okay, good. Okay, it's a third of the enemy killed off. Do what you gotta do. Good, good. I hope they break. Good. Let's finish them off. It's all good. Okay, getting closer still. What are these over here? More Baltic archers. That's okay. okay we need to kill all of them or else they, you know, they've still got all that ammo. Although right now they're not that much of a threat. I mean, they wouldn't fire back. Good, wipe them out. Oh, we still got some ammo. What are they shooting at now? I don't see any reason why we can't keep pressing the attack with the, with the missile units. I'll use, um, use the archers first. They take up less space anyway. You guys start coming in. This battle's going really well. It's because they don't have fucking heaps of fucking horse archers. Get them out of there. Nah. Yeah, get them out. You're an idiot. I gave you an order. That means fucking move it. 
Seems to have lured these guys sort of into a trap. Too close. So get back. Okay, we're getting pretty low on ammo now. So I'll just have my pike through the rest of this. Specifically the ones that are low in experience. Quickly and pikes down. Couple of few javelins, but it's all right. Considering how well the first ninety percent of the battle went, we can accept a few casualties here. It's not many. Surely they're out of ammo now. Okay, that seems to be going pretty well. Alright, so how many is left of them? 12%. But we've got them boxed in, they can't do anything now. What we're gonna do now is wait. Wait for them to fucking die. Alright, it's getting a bit closer there. It's taking too long. It's not right, no, whatever. Just get in there, kill him. I'm gonna take you off guard mode so maybe you move a bit forward. 
I'm actually moving backwards, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Lure them out, they'll just break. Oh, God damn it! Come on. Twirling morons. So no, actually you failed me the worst on this. I'd say every man here that dies deserved it, but I still need these guys to keep fighting for me, so... Like I've always said, if you, if you perform badly, you'll get berated by me. I'm not going to reward people for doing shit. And for mediocre behavior. You get rewarded if you go above and beyond, and you don't get berated if you just fight normally. That's over. God, the pikes performed like absolute garbage in that. The archers did well. Would have kept using them, but you know they're just low on ammo. So I start off with this. Okay. Doesn't really matter. So he's fabulously wealthy for raiding some backwater piece of shit town. Well, whatever. And now we've got access to the Baltic Sea. Well, if we had a port. Which we could get one. Possibly. Alright, so what do we need to do here? I guess you can stay here for a little while. But let's see, what can we recruit? Baltic Light Infantry, yeah, we're best moving on as soon as we can. The damage isn't that bad. So they need to go back. Are you tired by any chance? No, he's alright. I don't know. It's just, I guess just wading through this swamp is a bit of a pain in the ass for him. Alright. That settlement there is going to be very hard to take because of how many rebels there are there. We might need the help of more than one army. But get over there right now and, um, I guess, wait for reinforcements. Come down to here March. and build a fort. Just wait. I need someone to govern this so we can just keep moving. That is after we take it, of course. Okay, now you. I don't want to do another battle this, this episode or else it could crash. We can't let them... Let them do that. We've only just fucking... Oh, well, look at this. He came of age. Um, why do we keep getting this overprotective nanny crap? Like, it would be good if we went straight for their... Uh, straight for Aventikos here, which is now their capital. But... We can't risk this in the process. If we go up against that, they'll just run away. So 
it's just it's just bothering us that's all this whole thing here then again if we just recruit a few more units okay yeah do that so just come over here they'll run away oh, the Germans were there they probably could have ambushed us I should probably finish them off so I'll do that no I can't do it um yeah, I can. Just have these guys come in as reinforcements. But I'll do that next time. So anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe. Part 135 or 6, I can't remember, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.